Good morning, and Tashidilek, and I welcome you to my session. That is the second session, and today, uh, uh, what should I say? I'm going to divide my session into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about the text features, which is uh, yet uh, another important topic that you need to know. And uh, in the second uh, part, okay, uh, same session, I'm going to do a small, what should I say, dictation, or you can say some kind of presentation. So for that, uh, I think you need uh, some kind of piece of paper and a pen, okay? So if you are interested, I want you to join in that, uh, which is a small piece of exercise, okay? Yes, so that is the, the thing that I want to say before I begin my session, okay? Yes, so before I start my, uh, what should I say, the topic on text uh, features, let us recapitulate what we did last time, okay? Yes, so if you remember, we talked about text structures, okay, yes. So I told you text structure, there are different types of structures, okay, for a building, we've got so many types of building, we've got simple houses, we've got one story house, we've got two story house, three story, now there, are. these are the different structures used by the builders. Now when it comes to writers, I told you the writers, they arrange their writing. They arrange their writing in basically four types. And when I say these text structure, you know I'm talking about uh, expository, normally the non-fiction. And I'm sure you know the difference between fiction and non-fiction. So non-fiction are uh, the books which is, what should I say, having some facts, okay? No. Fiction are the books which is created out of imagination or opinion, like this, it's some kind of a story, okay? So when we, when we talk about the expository, which, which normally comes in, uh, what should I say, non-fiction, this text structure, the way the authors, the way the writers arrange, organize their writing, uh, they do in four. We have already done this. What are those four text structures that you need to understand? The first one is the chronological order or sequence or time order, which, uh, which talks about which is the events in a proper order. And the second one is compare and contrast. You see, the writers, they uh, show us, they explain the similarity and uh, the differences. And the third one is we have got cause and effect, where the writer, what should I say, talks about a cause and some effects, some result of this, uh, what should I say, the cause, okay, yes. And then finally we have the problem and solution, where the writer comes up with one problem and he just proposes one or two more, many more solutions. Now these are the writing structures, I told you, okay. So uh, understanding this text structure, it's very important because if you understand, if you can identify identify how the writers, how the authors had organized uh, his or her writing, then uh, what should I say, the hard work is done. For example, in order to understand, okay, yes, it will just help you, okay. Now, when, uh, when I talk about text structure, now I'm talking about how the things in a text is organized, okay, yes. So I told you uh, the writer organized this thing in four different types, I'm not going to write all these types. We have already done this, okay? And now today, another very important thing, okay, that you need to know is text features. Okay, yes, text features. Now, the text structure is how the writer organizes all these things, okay? The text features, what are the parts, for example? What is the feature uh, of my body? Of course, hand, legs, okay, shoulder, head. What is the, uh, what are the features of my face? Okay, what do you see? Nose, eyes, ears, mouth, tongue. All these are features. So, in a, a what should I say, non-fiction. So, I told you, non-fiction. So, non-fiction, basically, uh, what should I say, all the textbooks, okay, you, 
read the science textbook, social history, so many subjects. Okay, yes. Now, in the English uh, textbook, you may come across both the fiction and non-fiction because you have got stories, you have got uh, uh, poems, you have got poetry, uh, which are prose, all these things. So, when we talk about the books, okay, reference book, encyclopedia, uh, which is say uh, journals, magazine. Now, these are called uh, non-fiction. Now, in the non-fiction, there are different types of texts, you know, yes. And these are organized. There are some features, just like uh, the feature of my face, nose, ears, mouth. Okay, the mouth is in the center, the ears are on the side. Likewise, in a text, we have got different features. Okay, yes. So, uh, when I talk about this, when I talk about this text feature, I just want you to uh, remember your time uh, visiting a library where you open one reference book. Okay, you might have seen, some of you may have read some information about the volcano or a national geography or a volva and so many things. And when you go through these reference book and psychological books, okay, now you will identify uh, different features. And in your science textbook, social textbook, okay, the which is the edited one, okay, which comes in color, you might have seen so many features in your textbook. You got it? Now, these are called text features. Okay, yes. And it's important for you to, just like it is important for you to know about the text structure, it is also important for you to know the text features and you have to identify all these and you have to also know why these text features are there in your textbook. Okay, yes. So, uh, when I talk about textbook, I told you, try to think of a time when you visited a library, okay, and you opened a book, uh, which is a, uh, which is a, a book on a earth, book on a volcano, or national geography book, so many things. Okay, now I'm going to introduce, I'm going to, what should I say, uh, present my, what should I say, slides, and I will just cover, it, uh, cover up all the text features. There are so many text features, but because of the time, I'm going to touch on some important text features that I think the students need to know. Okay, yes. So for that, we have to go to the slides. Yes. So you see, if you look at each and every title of this book, uh, do you think these books are, what should I say, fiction, sh short stories? No. These are all books on some particular topic, okay? Yes, and all these books carry some uh, facts, information, data, all these things. So that's why these are called non-fiction series. So I told you, when you go to library, you might have seen so many books, okay? Now, let us try to see, okay, the features, the different text features uh, of these non-fiction books, okay, yes. Uh, what do you mean by the text structure? Text structure, the authors use text features to help the readers understand the text better. Okay, just like the text structure, okay, the organization of the text, but here these are the different features which will make the readers understand the text better. Okay, they put more information. These text features provide information which is not written in the text, okay? These are additional which the information, okay? Yes, so that's why it helps the reader to understand better. The text features are found in magazine, newspaper, textbook, reports, and other non-fiction texts. I'm not talking about the fiction, okay, storybooks and all this. I'm talking about the non-fiction, okay? Yes. So, Yes, I'm going to which is give you some idea. So, what do you mean by text feature? Now, text features are like this. You might have come across the contents. Okay, the, when, the moment you open one book, okay, especially the reference, you will come across the content. So, content is one feature. Okay, yes. Now, uh, even if you open a uh, storybook, yes, you will also find some, uh, which is that same text feature content is there. So, when I talk about the fiction and non-fiction, okay, uh, some of these text features, just like the similarity and difference, uh, compare and contrast, I told you, and these features are uh, available in both fiction and non-fiction. 
Okay, but uh, there are more text features in non-fiction because we are studying about a subject and so the writers, they try their best to make the readers understand by putting some other additional information which is not present in the text. So these are called text features. Okay, you got some idea. Okay, now let us try to look at some of the text features. Okay, yes. Now these are some of the text features. I'm sure you are familiar. Okay, yes, you have come across this, but you have never stopped at one point and then asked, what is the use of this? What is, what is this called like this? Okay, so these are what you call the text features. So next time, when you come across any bow, now instead of uh, going through all these things, it's important for you to uh, which is talk in terms of these text features. This is the text, this is the, okay, yes. So the table of contents, we have got index, we have got glossary, we have got title, subheadings, bold text, sometimes bold text, italic text, or some colored one. We have got photographs, we have got illustration, we have got captions, we have got also textbook and many more. Now these are some of the things. So I'm going to take you through all these one by one very quickly. Okay, yes. First one, you see the contents, table of contents. This is a text feature. Uh, the content lists major part of the book along with the page number, so you should know the, uh, why the content is there, okay, yes. Readers can use this table of content to help locate information in the book because the, all the page numbers are there. You will get some idea what this book is all about, okay, yes. So the table of content is one text feature and the second one is glossary. What do you mean by glossary? A list of key terms in the alphabetical order. Okay, yes, just like a dictionary. There are some key words uh, from that book and all these key words are presented in uh, which is a glossary and that is also in an alphabetical order. It's easy for you to which is to go through. Now these text features are used to make the reader understand. Okay, yes. And each word there you will find the definition and if you look at the glossary you will also find out their meaning. Okay, yes. So there is a thing, glossary, second text feature. The third one is index. Okay, yes, index. What is index? Index is least topics of the book in alphabetical order along with their page number, okay, index. Readers use index to help find pages that contain information they are looking for. So this is index, we have done with the virtual index, glossary, okay, yes. And then the title, okay, now you, you will see, these are some of the magazines or uh, newspaper, but you will see the title, okay, yes. Title tells the reader the topic of the text. The title shows the main idea of the text. Uh, the title helps the reader by letting them know what they are about to read. It helps the reader to make connection with what they already know. So that is one very important skill, okay, yes. Uh, which they say, uh, whenever you come across a small piece of paper, I mean, a small topic, uh, instead of going directly into the, which they say, article or a small piece of passage, it's very important for you to connect, okay? And you just try to see your previous knowledge. What are the things that you already know about this topic? You just try to go through this and then you start uh, reading, okay? So it is somewhat, uh, uh, I think Gitin Chula has already done this, KWL, okay? There is a chart, the graphic organizer, what you know already about that volcano, what do you want to know, and in the last one, what you learn. So it's, these are some of the skills that we do when we do some kind of a non-fiction reading, okay? Yes. Now back to the slide, and then we have the subheading. You should know the heading, okay? And under that heading, uh, sometimes we have got the subheading, okay? Yes. So we have got the sub subheading, divide the text into a section. It tells the main idea of each section. So you must have come across this in your social and science, okay? On top of that, okay, we have got the heading, and the heading is divided into more subheading. Now these are the technical words, these are the text features that you should know and that you should be talking about. You got it? Okay. Now, after uh, attending this session, I want you to use these technical terms. Okay? Yes. And then if you go through this uh, textbook and references, you will also come across some texts are bold or some texts are also colored 
or sometimes you will find some italic words okay now these are the different text features okay so uh, key words to notice are in bold or in color some important key words and uh, they come in bold okay yes if there are some foreign words then it's important for us to use it in italic even when it comes to writing if you're writing something and if you're a reader okay if your audience is foreigner and you are talking about tibetan some of these words are not familiar with your reader so what you do you just uh, italic uh, size okay that particular word for example amala if you are writing amala so uh, you have to uh, would you that italicize that word amala okay yes now these are the text feature okay so the, if the reader goes through that italic oh he or she will get some idea okay at least this is a foreign word why because it was italicized like this okay now there are different uh, which are functions of this okay next we have the illustration and photos okay did you ever come across these things okay illustration and photos what do you mean by photo and illustration okay photo are the real uh, what should you say pictures okay and illustration are just a drawing okay yes because uh, suppose uh, what should you say there are some time when the photo was not there okay so if you want to make the readers understand what do you do because we don't have any photos okay so what do you do you just call somebody who is a good illustrator and he or she will just illustrate the information that you are talking about okay yes so both the illustration and photos are very important if you uh, use your photo it's good real okay now there are some uh, places or some uh, what should I say events where the photo is not available so what you do you just use illustration you use drawings okay now these are illustrated so illustration and photos give information in a visual way okay there are so many learners okay some people they learn better by looking at the picture some people they learn better just by listening some people they learn better by touching all this so there are different types of learners okay auditory learner kinesthetic okay visual learner like this okay so for the visual learner it's this illustration and photos come uh, uh, which is uh, become very helpful they help tell the story okay the pictures can sometimes text better okay it tells a story better if there is no photo illustration can be used okay now these are the text features and then we have got the caption okay yes so what is a caption caption explain what is shown in the picture or illustration so even if you are there are so many uh, what you say people who upload pictures in a facebook or instagram or uh, anything okay now uh, it's very important for you to give some information about that picture okay sometimes the people they just upload the photo without any caption okay and then whoever visit your page uh, which would is uh, won't uh, get any information where that picture what is that picture what was happening so it's very important for you to write a caption okay so we are talking about the text feature of a book so in a book you will come across a picture you will come across a photo you will come across illustration and under that you will find the caption captions help the reader understand the information that may not be in the text you got it so there is a caption and then we have got the text box okay uh, you might have come across this in your social textbook science textbook so textbook okay or if you look at the left right side okay yes right side you will find some box okay now this is also a text feature so text box provides information more information than the present in the text you have got one text on the left side okay now in the box you will find in the text box you will find more information a text box can include interesting facts which are not present in the passage you got it now these are some of the text features i told you okay yes so we have talked about the text structure yesterday and today we talk about the text features and these are very important you what should i say uh, uh, these information will help you what should i say become a better reader okay will help you better comprehend okay yes and uh, we have got a very separate okay already a separate what should i say thing uh, when it comes to fiction you all are reading novel you all are reading story now there are which is some different levels of comprehension okay you don't find all these text structure and all these text features but 
uh, when we talk about the fiction story books and novels, now there are some comprehension. There are different comprehension levels. Okay, we will be discussing uh, maybe next time. Okay, what are the different things that you have to keep in mind when you are reading a story? Okay, yes. Now these are the things that you have to keep in mind. So with this, I've come to the end of the first session. And in the second uh, session, I've already told you uh, which is a, I'm going to do a, do a small activity or you can say dictation which involve both listening, writing, reading and speaking. Okay, yes. So that is a dictation. Okay, yes. So uh, I'm sure there are some students, okay, who are writing uh, uh, right now and I've already told you to be ready with one uh, piece of paper and a pen okay because I'm going to dictate one simple sentence okay there's no need for you to worry about this thing because it's very simple okay yes so uh, are you ready I'm going to dictate okay so right now there are uh, 36 students who are watching this okay so in the next uh, one minute I'm going to uh, which is say recite I'm going to dictate one sentence okay yes so I want you to copy it L let us try to see uh, which whether you can write it fast or not okay yes so I've, I'm, I'm going to look at the slide but you are not going to look at the slide okay because uh, this is what I'm going to do the dictation okay yes so before that uh, uh, there are some words that are, I'm going to write on the blackboard okay yes for example gadgets because these are the words that will be coming from my mouth okay yes gadgets okay yes and the second one is online class these are very simple okay online class okay rest of the things you all are familiar okay so are you ready are you ready with the pen and a, a small piece of paper okay this is very short okay so uh, this is a dictation okay the major words uh, you can already see in the uh, whiteboard okay so are you ready if you are ready let us go okay my first sentence good morning everybody I want you to write this okay good morning everybody so uh, there are 36 students I'm sure all these 36 uh, six students are with their notebook and pen okay yes good morning everybody now next sentence today I'm going to tell you why I like online class today I'm going to tell you why I like online class you see it's very simple okay yes good morning everybody today I'm going to tell you why I like online class well first of all well first of all I, I, I hope I hope you all are writing okay yes well first of all I can revisit the lesson okay revisit so this is a different type of uh, which they say dictation where I write some words here okay revisit okay first of all I can revisit the lesson anytime I can revisit the lesson anytime did you get that okay second one secondly there is no need for me to go to school secondly there is no need for me to go to school okay let us start from the beginning good morning everybody today I'm going to tell you why I like online class well first of all I can revisit the lesson anytime I like okay anytime don't like I like okay secondly there is no need for me to go to school there's no need for me to go to school you got it okay last but not the least last but not the least okay last but not the least my parents let me use gadget gadget is here okay yes last but not the least my parents let me use gadget during that time okay now last sentence the concluding okay thus I like online class it's a very short but it has got everything that a good paragraph should okay Your, so we start from the small one okay and then if you do well if you do fairly well and then it's easy for you to increase instead of one sentence you can write two 
if you are doing good, you instead of writing two sentences, you can write three, four, like now this is how we write. Okay. So that's a very uh, simple paragraph. I'm sure you all are which is uh, cooperating with me. Okay, yes, because I cannot see you from here. So I hope you are writing all these things if you are really which are interested. So let me read this. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to tell you why I like online class. Well, first of all, I can revisit the lesson anytime. Secondly, there is no need for me to go to school. Last but not the least, my parents let me use gadget during that time. Thus, I like online class. That's a very simple, okay, yes. So, uh, I'm sure you all have written, okay. So, if you have written, now a dictation, you have got the practice of listening, you try your best to listen to me carefully and then you have written that small piece of paragraph and now I'm sure you are reading whatever you have written down. Okay, that is also a uh, reading practice. Okay, now when everything is done, now since this is a very short one, I want you to uh, which represent that. I've also made one video of this for my student in the YouTube, okay, uh, which is the title uh, presentation exercise, okay, uh, because already so many students, okay, even the primary students, they are uploading their own videos, reciting something or doing a show and tell. I think these are a very, what should I say, a good uh, step towards our, what should I say, better man. Okay, we start from the short one and then we will just, what should I say, uh, talk about so many big topics, okay? So this is a very short one. So I'm going to read this, okay? Yes, uh, if you have written that, you can also read, okay? Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like online class. Well, first of all, there's, uh, I can revisit the lesson anytime. Secondly, there is no need for me to go to school. Last but not the least, my parents let me use gadget during that time. Thus, I like online class. So what I'm talking about, I'm just talking about why I like online class, very simple. And I'm just giving you the details, only three point, very simple. Uh, you can also add so many more sentences by giving some example. Okay, I can revisit the lesson anytime. You, do, you don't stop that, okay. Uh, you add some, okay, for example, okay, when we talk about the regular class, I cannot, if I miss thing, I cannot go back. But when we talk about online class, the teachers, they either come there, or give their lesson in YouTube, so I can revisit, I can watch even if I miss anything. Now, on that simple, uh, what should I say, uh, what should I say, that sentence, you can add so many things. You got it? And then you move on, okay. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So if you have written that, I want you to do some kind of a oral presentation. This I told you, this is also oral presentation. Uh, there is no need for you to memorize that much, but once you got some idea, you can, uh, what should I say, there will be some difference in some words, but basically you have got the content, what you want to say, okay? And you just try to present that uh, before your family members, or you can also, what should I say, record your, uh, what your presentation, and then you just watch what are the things that you need to improve, how is your pronunciation, how is your presentation going on, that is just a beginning, okay? Yes, so that is the thing. Okay, nice. Now, after doing this, uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to look at the, uh, which is say, slides. Okay, yes, I want you to look at the slide. Okay, now this, uh, I've just given you an example. Now, on the basis of that structure, you can make thousands and thousands. Now, this is how we, which is say, practice. For example, uh, in the previous one, I gave you, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like online class. Okay, and then I gave you the three reasons. Now, in your turn, once you get this, once you have this structure, okay, now this is a structure, you can also say this is the, uh, which is the foundation, you can also say this is a mentor text, mentor, mentor is a, which is the word, which can also say a teacher, okay. If you are a good writer, you look for different types of mentor text, okay, and this mentor text will uh, work as a teacher, guide you, okay. Now, this is a small mentor text you can say. So, 
Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like monsoon season. Okay, so that is a topic. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I hate, uh, what should I say, uh, summer season. Okay, yes. Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like my best friend. Okay, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I hate, uh, what should I say, my best friend. Okay, yes. Now, on the basis of that, they, there are so many things you can do. Okay, and then why you hate, why you like Moonzoon? Well, first of all, I got to play in the rain because I love playing in the rain. Another reason is, uh, what should I say, sometimes when I get emotional, uh, people cannot see my tears because I'm a very emotional person. Every time I hear some sad song, uh, tears just, yeah, my eyes get well up. Okay, so if I go in the during monsoon season, people cannot watch my tears. Okay, yes, there's a popular saying. Like, last but not the least, uh, which is the uh, I love, uh, which is the green, uh, which is plant, which normally come up during the monsoon season. So thus, I like monsoon season. Okay, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like playing PUBG. Okay, first of all, like this. Okay, now. Once you have that thing, now on the basis of that thing, you can, okay, yes, construct so many, which we say, uh, presentation. Did you get some idea? Okay, yes. So if you are, which we say, if you were not able to write, okay, the previous one, okay, now uh, this is the actual, uh, you can say, transcript, okay, yes. So good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like online class. Well, first of all, I can revisit the lesson any time I like. Secondly, there is no need for me to go to school. Last but not the least, my parents let me use gadget during that time. Thus, I like online class very much. Okay, so once you have that, you just try to practice. You just use different kind of intonation. You just try to, which you, uh, which you keep record of your speed. Okay, sometimes you go slow. Sometimes you go fast. Sometimes you try to, what should you say, imitate which is the news broadcaster. I'm sure you all are, which you say, following the news channels. Okay, there are different English news channels. And these news channels, they have got their own style of presenting. Okay, just like we have the Tibet TV. Okay, we have got different anchors, different news readers. They have their own style. So likewise, that is a small piece of text before you. So you can also practice, and that is also oral presentation. Okay, if you don't get a big platform, at least you can share that. You can present that, uh, which is uh, in front of a family member during your dinner time or lunch time or breakfast time. So they will support you. Okay, and this is how you grow. Okay, yes. So in this session, what we have done, we have, uh, which is a recapitulate, we have just revisited the lesson we did last time. That was the text structure. Okay, I told you text structure is very important. And next, in this session, we talked about the text features, which is yet another, okay, very important thing that you have to keep in mind. So next time when you visit this, uh, which is a school library or whenever you come across some, uh, which is a reference book, okay, yes, textbook, I'm sure you will come across these text features. Okay, now you know, okay, yes. So that is the thing. And the last one, uh, th I just gave you some idea what you can do. Okay, you just write a small piece of writing and you read this and then you just try to present that. Okay, if your presentation is going good, okay, and then you can record this and if you like you can upload and you can share it with your classmates or you can share this to your teacher and let us see what the teacher is saying you got it okay thank you and we we'll see you in the next week till then take care bye bye